What's up everybody? It's your boy DB. It's been a while, but I'm back. Just going to do a review of a fragrance. I just kind of had to sneak one in there because I'm a fan of the house. But it's the typical thing. Bet you're curious. Are you? Yeah, you are. Come on back. I'm going to tell you a little something about it. This is your boy DB. I'm about to take you behind the nonsense. So I went and, uh, yeah, I'm out of the game. I, I kind of gave up all my fragrances simply because, um, you know, my clone house, I do enough with it. I've got plenty of fragrances and um, except for an occasional few, I'm pretty spot on. So I don't really need to buy too many. But this one I kind of had to do because the bottle was kind of, kind of cool. I'll send you a picture right up here. But I, what I'm talking about is Paco Rabanne's Phantom. I just got a little small decant of it. And hey, man, I'm just going to be honest. Typical Paco Rabanne DNA uh, kind of has that one million type DNA to it, but mixed in with some other stuff. Real strong. Definitely a fall, winter, better suited for fall, winter to me. But let's get into it. So the projection was two and a half. Got two and a half hours strong projection. Started a brand new job yesterday, make a whole lot more money. Um, you know, DB, you like to smell good. So. I went and uh, wore this and I got a compliment. I think the guy is gay, don't really care, but he said I smell good. Hey, I'll take a compliment where I get a compliment. Uh, anyhow, um, the overall of this on skin was roughly six and a half hours on skin, but on my shirt lasted all night. Uh, I still smell it on my shirt. Uh, that's been easily 24 hours later. So, um, would I recommend this? Highly. Um, is this anything that's going to set the world on fire? Absolutely not. Typical Paco Rabanne type smell. It just feels like it has that... Paco Rabanne to me, I think with this one, finally comes complete to me, if that makes sense. I feel like they've kind of ventured into the more niche realm of things with this one. Um, typical Paco Rabanne fragrance is usually four to five hours. Fades away real fast. Uh, this one does not. Uh, like I said... Uh, it gave me I worked a 12-hour shift on my shirt. This was still Still Blasting it out and as you can see I probably used just under a half of the decant. It's just a 5 ml So I've probably sprayed 2 ml on me. <laughs> so um, But I feel just in my personal opinion They're they're actually trying to get better uh, Which I am a fan of Paco Rabanne's fragrances uh, 1 million is probably one of my favorite from them but there are quite a few others that I enjoy from them so this one I think they really stepped it up man I think they did a good job I think they're on their way I don't think they're quite there yet but this is definitely in my opinion a step more in the niche direction so uh, if you value my opinions which most of you do me personally I would get it um, I'm probably going to look to get a full bottle of it uh, simply because uh, Pucker Vaughn's not an expensive brand and it'd be nice to have something um, really nice from them, really on the more niche side of it all. So um, it, it, I think it's worth having. I really do. Um, just feel like the Paco Rabanne DNA is there, and that's what I like about Paco Rabanne. They have that DNA. So, hey, man, it's your boy DB. I just took you behind the nonsense. Y'all have a good one.